Hey guys, thanks for joining me here at the Financial Spotlight. I'm Chantrell and I'm here to give you financial tips and tricks that are going to help you on your road to mow your money. And today I'm talking about the seven different ways to reduce your taxable income without even itemizing. So the first way is if you have dependent or you pay dependent care, it can be your child or it can also be a dependent. It can also be uh, an elderly parent or someone like that that you pay for someone to care for you can reduce your income or your taxable income and what you owe in taxes by having a dependent care the second one i'm going to be looking down because i have them written down the second one is with ira contributions so this is not just the individual retirement account contributions but also if you're self-employed and you a deposit money into an IRA account or a SEEP account, then you can definitely deduct that from your taxes without even itemizing and you get a credit for depositing money into the IRA account. Now, granted that it is an income cap and it changes every year, there also is a maximum amount that you can contribute. That changes every year, but that is a way that you can reduce your taxes. The third way is by having or paying student loan interest and you can get student loan interest deduction up to $2,500. However, your income needs to be $85,000 or less and you would need to show a form that is a 1098E and that is showing that you pay interest um, to your school or to the loan company that uh, you were getting a loan from. Next, you can deduct educator expenses up to $250. So if you are a teacher and you come out of pocket every school year and buy supplies and all those type of things for your students, you can deduct those from your taxes. You can definitely keep your, you should definitely keep all your receipts and everything to make sure that you are verifying uh, if need be what you're writing off on your taxes. Next, over the past couple of years, and I'm not sure if this is going to continue into the years coming up, but as far as now, uh, you are able to deduct $300 in charitable donations, and that is without itemizing. So if you, you know, donate to a church or you give money to, say, the Goodwill or you give money to things of that nature, you can deduct $300 without doing the itemization. I already talked about the self-employed because I was part of the IRA contribution. And then the last one is alimony payments. Now, if you pay alimony every month, you can deduct that amount that you are paying out on your taxes. Um, but you need to make sure that you are, like I said before, keeping track verifying that this is true, that you are paying this alimony every month. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. Please make sure that you subscribe and join the Financial Spotlight family so that we can continue to share this information with you every single week here at the Financial Spotlight. Thanks for joining me. Bye.